Hello, people. Hello, hello. This is Alex from Mindful Attraction. And today we're going to be reviewing, you know, Matthew Hussey, all right? And um, this is a long-waited video. And we have our buddy here, Matthew Hussey. Look at him, waiting for you, you know, to subscribe. Um, one second, people, all right? So we're going to be... To oh, oh, there's a text message. Can't read that text message right here. Sorry, people. Um, so we're going to be reviewing today Matthew Hussey. Oh, yes, people. Um, you know, I'm a fan of Matthew sometimes. I mean, you know, he's a nice guy. Um, and, but I have some problems with the advice that he gives. You know, you guys know that I have a thing with angels. I have a thing against angels, you know. And Matthew's a great guy. I like how he teaches about self-esteem, all right? Um, and it's great, but I have some problems with the things he teaches because to be honest with you ladies, if any of you ladies do the things that he says, then, you know, you're going to e e get easily baited by me. All right. God damn, this girl keeps texting me right now. Fuck. Sorry, people. people just, someone just keeps texting me right now. So let's begin with the breakdown. I'm going to be breaking out a few, of, a few of his videos and, um, I'm excited about this. You know, I'm very excited. So let's begin this. And, yo, know, I can't help but laugh because, look, I met, like, Matthew Hussey, he used to teach coaches. He used to teach guys before. And I used to purchase his videos. I actually purchased his videos. Matthew, remember PUA University with, uh, with um, um, PUA training? Yeah, I used to watch his videos. And um, he, they used to sell premium videos. And he used to be one of the main coaches in that, right? And so that, that was kind of fun. And I used to watch it. And they were good. And I was surprised that he taught women. And I, I watched his videos. And they're They're good. But I have some things I disagree with, Matthew, and, and I'm going to be nitpicking here. So I like the things he teaches, but some of the things he teaches, I don't like. But generally, he's a good coach. I recommend you. But let's just watch this. Hello. Now, mind you, people, this is the part, every time I see this kind of stuff, my eyes perk up. I get suspicious of people who, who come across as too angel. I mean, look at him. I mean... My name is Matthew Look Hussey, at the music. And I would love for you to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Yo, I, wait, I, was, I, got, wait a minute. I got to subscribe, man. That's, that, that got me. One minute. I got to subscribe to this channel. Oh, fuck. It's slowing down, people. Oh, no, people. I think Matthew Hussey hacked my computer, man. Like, <laughs> it, just, it just froze all of a sudden. I think Matthew Hussey hacked my computer, man. Shit. Okay, all right, all right. So, let me subscribe to this, man. He, he got me with that one. There you go. All right. All right. I wrote a New York Times best-selling book called Get the Guy. Oh, I'm the music. Love expert on the Today mm -hmm. Show, and I have a monthly column in Cosmopolitan magazine. Hey, man. I aspire to be as successful as he is, to be honest with you. I spent years now traveling the world to thousands of women mm -hmm. at a time, giving my strategies. All right, all right, all right. Now, let's watch, let's watch the legit, legit videos of his, right? Now, let's watch this. Um, this video, he calls it, um, what's it called? There you go. Three secrets to make him want you more. Oh, yeah. Let's find out what his three secrets are. Let's see what they are. Now, mind you, you guys know me. Anytime I, anytime I hear lovey-dovey shit, it irks me. So I better not hear some lovey-dovey shit coming out of Matthew's mouth. All right? So let's find out. And I give advice and stuff. Three secrets to make him want more. Jameson, are you ready to change some f***ing lives? Oh. The other week, we did a video where we talked about the importance of warmth. And what we said was warmth creates opportunity. When we're cold and distant and aloof, and we make people feel like they can't come over to us, we deprive ourselves of all the opportunities of people who would actually like to come over and approach us. And oh, hell no! Oh, just from the jump! Okay, bro, let me tell you something, Matthew. Warmth attracts predators. Warmth attracts guys. Let me tell you something. Anytime I see a girl acting all warm and happy, my dick just starts going like this. It, it, it's, it's like, it's like you, it comes across as weakness. Initially, Matthew, initially, I'm hoping you're saying be warm at the end, not warm in the beginning. Because initially, you got to be cold in the beginning. Let me tell you something. Napoleon Bonaparte, the greatest general in history, was the kind of general that he was cold with you in the beginning, and then he warmed up to you at the end, right? Because you can't be warm in the beginning and then cold at the end because people can't respect that. You, the, the warmth has more negative than cold. Cold has more positive. Cold has more positive. Let me tell you something. There are two kinds of kids. The parents who over who give too much love to a kid and the parents who give who don't give love at all. 
Which kid wants more of their parents? The kid who doesn't get enough love. And I'm not saying not to give the person love. What I'm saying is that if you're always warm, if your strategy is to be warm to get people to like you, you're gonna be stomped on. You're gonna be stomped on. You can't be that nice. In this dating world, maybe in London. I don't fucking know how London is, right? Yeah, I don't fucking know how London is. I can't deal with this shit no more. I don't fucking know how London is, you know? But all I know is that if you pull that shit off in New York City, yo, you're gonna be sucking a whole lot of dick like AMS says, but let's keep watching. Start something. Warmth opens doors. It begins conversation. Warmth does not open doors. Being willing to walk away opens doors. Let me tell you something, man. If you go into a business deal and you're all fucking warm and happy, you're not gonna get the best deal. But if you go into a business deal willing to walk away with a, with, with a, with a business mindset, with a take it or leave it mindset, people are gonna feel strength coming out of you. Come on, man. Sorry, Matthew, I don't mean to be mean. You're a nice guy, hope, hope you don't cry. Conversations. In a program I have called How to Talk to Men, there is a chapter, chapter 20, that talks about the things that create a conversation that he doesn't want to end. And if you think about it, what is a relationship? What is marriage? But a commitment to a conversation we don't want to end. Sort of why we get down on one day. Well, I go, marriage and love is more like a business. If you, if you meet my needs, I'll meet your needs. It's a business transaction. All right? This, 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 is not a, this, this, this didn't come from heaven and it was bestowed upon us by the gods. This is something carnal, business-like, and straight to the motherfucking point. Sorry, people. Uh, all right, let's keep watching. I can't, there's people sending me text messages right now. Isn't it? We, we really were saying to someone, hey, this conversation I'm having with you, I don't want it to end. I want it to keep going forever. It's quite beautiful. So if being warm and open invites and begins conversations, secret number two is what makes someone. Let me tell you something, ladies. If you listen to this, you're going to come across as the nice girl. It's better off to be a little cold. Be a little cold. That's how you gain people's respect. First, gain a man's respect, and then be happy and warm. But if he doesn't have, if, if he doesn't first feel a little intimidated by you, I'm not saying, I don't, look, man, I don't want you to intimidate guys because it turns, it turns them into bitches. What I don't want you, though, is to, for them to feel like they can do anything with you. So they got to they gotta sense your strength from the start in a feminine way. And you want to know what's the best way for God to feel strength? One, you say no. No, let me tell you something. I've had girls sucking my dick for hours. And as soon as they say no, I remember that they're humans. Honestly, God, I'm just being honest with you. When, when somebody just, when, 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 when a girl just sucks my dick, I swear to God, when, when she's just all compliant with me, there's a part of me that doesn't see her as human, honestly. Like when she's 100% compliant, there's a part of me that sort of doesn't see it as human. As soon as she says no, or as soon as she pulls away, all of a sudden I remember, oh my God, she could pull away. I'm like, oh my God, she's a fucking person. Oh my God, like, let, let me, let me, let me do this. It's like, I gotta, when, as soon as I sense some resistance, her saying no to me, her not being 100% compliant with me, I remember, oh, wait a minute, like, let me, let, let, she's a human being. Why is that? I don't fucking know. I'm just telling you what goes on in people's mind. Matthew won't tell you this. Mm -mm. It'll break his image. He won't tell you that's how guys think. He won't tell us, but I, I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. I'm not, I'm not sponsored by no major TV media, so I don't have no need to, to hide that fact, you know? But hey, man, it is what it is. I never want that conversation to end. And secret number two is connection. Code? I swear to God, I thought he was going to say code, but connection. All right, let me listen. First, let's consider what a good conversation that creates connection actually looks like. It doesn't look like tennis. So, so wait, is he saying that good conversation creates a connection? I don't think that's how it works. I hope he's not saying that. What I believe is there's the, the, there's, the, you either have chemistry with someone or you don't. You don't create the chemistry, right? Spending time with the person, spending time with them. It doesn't even have to be talking. A rot makes the chemistry arise. It's like both of you guys have a, there's like a third organic organism between you guys, and that's the chemistry you feel. It's something that you can't control. You can't control it. You could work with somebody for years and have a conversation with that person for years, and you still won't have a connection because you guys are not genetically aligned to have a connection. Just genetically. You know, at, at your DNA, you guys just cannot connect, 
right? So it's the same thing with this, man, is that conversation does not create connection, nor trying to create a connection creates connection. In fact, it even erodes it. Just being yourself, being willing to walk away, and people sensing your strength creates or allows the, the space for a connection. But a desire to create one does not create one. It just it actually sometimes backfires. But let's keep watching. This is American tennis. This is it. We invented it. Nice house. So you seen any good movies lately? Toy Story, are you? Uh, yeah, sorry. What do you think? Good. What do you think? It's pretty good. You up to anything this weekend? I watch a movie. Yeah, me too. <sighs> what a boring conversation. You don't want it to be that. Yeah, well, I agree. Essentially, the entire conversation is about trying to get the ball out of your side of the court. Mm -hmm. Conversation is more like a game of soccer. Consider a friendly game of uh, kickball. We all, I guess we all know Matthew plays soccer because nobody brings up a sport if you don't play him, Matthew. So look at you playing, a, being a soccer guy. I like that. Cups between friends. So it wasn't so much that I wanted to become an astronaut. I just wanted to explore. You know? oh. That's cool. Oh, oh, oh look at him. <laughs> Matthew. Oh, shit. Oh, oh, he's showing off right now. He's showing off. <laughs> I actually lived in China once, and that was amazing. You know, it was like when I was there. I oh, wow. Amazing. But then when I got home, oh, he's just showing off. He's stunting right now. Sweet. I know that feeling. It's so weird feeling homesick for the first time. All right, what the fuck? This is boring. still a cool conversation. Generosity of the space for them to say something. The third thing, the third secret, you have to be real careful of. Because if you take this, bro, this, come on, you do the third thing as well, then you might just end up married. I mean, okay, we're speeding him up. He's on crack right now. We're going to speed it. Now he's on crack, but it's going to sound like he's on crack because we're going to speed him up. Third secret is tension. James and how impressed with oh, with my chili pepper. Pretty good chili pepper. That was my first attempt at that, and that's what I did. So another dimension. Salute to you, Matthew. Salute to you. He's like, yeah, nigga. Yeah, nigga. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you thought you had me, huh? Salute to you. There you go. Okay. Na 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 na. Is the double blah, 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 double G? All right. Okay. Let's see what he has to say. Tension is what takes this warmth that makes someone go, "Oh, I want to be close to you because you've got an energy that just is mm, like you're just a sweet, lovely Ooh. person I want to be around." And then the connection that says you're not just sweet and lovely, but oh, yeah. you, I want to get to know you. I want to know more about. I you. agree. I spend a long time yeah. getting to know you. Yeah, yeah, I want to yeah. have conversations with okay. you. Okay. Tension is the thing that takes that conversation that's already interesting, but sends a bolt of lightning through it. Makes it exciting. The program I was talking about, How to Talk to Men, where chapter 20 came from about how to create a conversation that you never want to end, also has a chapter on creating... He's not on crack, people. He's not on crack. Intention. Flirting. <laughs> injecting all of that charged energy into your conversation. Oh, wait a minute. That the Flirting? Okay, no, 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 no. That's not the kind of tension I want. I want the kind of tension where he thinks he's losing you. God damn it, Matthew. You got me there. Take that chili pepper off, man. The tension that I'm talking about is pain, creating pain from time to time. You see what I'm saying? Like from like 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 I said, the texting pattern, which is the no LOLs, no ha has, and taking taking your time to text back, taking two to three hours for the first text of the day, and then taking five to ten minutes to respond three times, and then going back to two to three hours. You keep that pattern, and then you break it from time to time, right? That's the pattern that creates tension. The tension that I want is a little bit of pain. A little bit of anxiety. Like, do I have her? Because as soon as you think you have the person, all of a sudden, all the mystery goes out the window, you know? So, you have me, Matthew. All right, let's review the next video, okay? Let's watch this next video. All right, there's another one that I want to do. Oh, and this is about the, you know, the three man-melting phrases that will make him love you. So, let's find out what those man-melting phrases are, because I want to melt, right? Let's find out what they are. Okay, people, it's... Clearly, my computer is really, really slow for some reason. Um... Shit, my computer's really slow. Um, but let's start this. Show you three ways to compliment a guy to make him fall for you. Hey man, when, when La Morena said you flirt and pull back, exactly. But what I want you to do, you can flirt with him in person, in person, but in, in over text, you, you don't flirt with him in over text, okay? But let's listen. Watch all the way to the end because I have something very special waiting for you that you do not want to miss. The first way to compliment a guy.
One second, people. I gotta dress just like him, man, you know? Get it up right here, you know? Looks good. Wait a minute. Oh, yeah. Gotta, gotta look nice, you know? It's a Matthew look. All right. All right, let's begin this. ...is on his style. Now, many people, when they're walking up to someone... First of all, wait, wait a minute, we won. ...miss. All the way to the end, because I have something very special waiting for you. Let me you see what he just said. ...do not want to miss. The first way to compliment a guy... Compliment, first of all, you don't compliment a guy. Let me tell you something. You compliment me. Well, first of all, I mean, complimenting does not make you make you like me. It, it's not like, wow, Alexis, you look so good. My, and, my, and I'm like, my dick is like, yo, bro, you know what? I didn't notice her until she complimented your shirt, bro. Let's go for her. Motherfucker, man. Compliments, does, compliments don't work. It's best to keep it, compliment somebody when they do something good, all right? Don't compliment something, uh, so, don't compliment, man. It validates them. It's better to not compliment them. Let them ask you why you don't compliment her. Let them ask you why you don't compliment them. That's a better position to be in than you complimenting him. Come on, people. He just wants you to compliment him. That's what he wants. People, let me tell you something, man. It's crazy because people say that my advice is fucked up, but usually my, the advice that I give doesn't help me. Don't you guys notice that? The advice that I give doesn't help me. In fact, the advice that I give could potentially fuck me over with the women that I meet. But the advice that he gives helps him out because he wants to hear those compliments. I mean, I'll compliment you, bro. You look nice with that, bro. Tell me what kind of shirt that is. It looks extra soft. It's definitely not cotton, you know? And, 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 and it's kind of like... Sure, it's it's nice, but it benefits us. It doesn't benefit you. Don't compliment guys. Don't, don't only do it when it's like when he does something like 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 when he does something of of, of of that he values, but the other people don't value. Like art. If somebody compliments me on my art, I'm happy because it's something that most people don't. You know, I'm I'm no more as a YouTuber than anything else, right? But let's keep watching. I is on his style. Now, many people when they're walking up to someone think about how to compliment I recommend don't compliment him, man. Compliment him on something that he's working on, like his skill. You know, like like something like his skill. If he fixes cars, complimenting on that. If he does if he whatever the fuck he does, compliment him on the skill, not on not on his looks. Compliment their looks. You have a great smile, you have beautiful eyes, all of those kinds of things. Not only is this a very direct way to go and approach someone, one that most of us are scared to do, but it also is complimenting someone on something they didn't choose. None of us chose. Let me tell you something, man. Oh, okay, let me listen. our looks, but we did choose our style. So when you go up to a guy and you say, I love those jeans or those shoes are so cool. So he's asking you guys to approach me. Let me tell you something, that is a recipe to be sucking a motherfucking whole lot of dick. That's a recipe for you to be sucking my dick all night long. If you're gonna be come, all coming up to me, if you come up to me, I'm not doing no work. I ain't, if you say, oh my God, thank you. You have such a nice smile. Thank you, Damn, thank you so much. Thank you. You're not gonna get nothing more out of me. You already came up, you're not, if you came up to me, you're gonna finish the job. I, I, I don't need you, I don't need you. So if you, if you want me to chase, I'm not chasing you, so thank you. This shit works. Look, man, this shit will work with, with like, I, I, okay, look, go ahead and do that. But if you're gonna do that, back off. If, you, if you're gonna do that, ask the number, but just, but don't pursue after that. Go ahead. I will go, if, 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 his, if he's so special, if he's so special that you're never gonna see him again, then go ahead and do that. But don't pursue anymore. Don't pursue anymore, all right? Cool. Not only is it safer and less direct, it's actually more meaningful. The second way to compliment a guy. Guys, we don't care about meaningful compliments. We don't care about meaningful compliments. The only people who care about meaningful compliments are people who are famous and they get compliments all the time. Motherfuckers barely get compliments. So if you're a girl, just by being with him is a compliment. You don't need to compliment him. <laughs> Come on is to talk about his hidden traits. Let's say a guy- All right, I, I said that. But don't say that to a dude who you don't know, all right? Talk about, like I said, about art, about something that he's working on that knows, and most people don't appreciate. You could say that, all right? But don't compliment him about his looks. Don't compliment him about, about compliment him on his dick. Nothing wrong with that, in fact. There's nothing wrong with saying you have a nice penis. Nothing wrong with saying you have a beautiful handcrafted penis. Or nothing wrong with calling his dick, giving, giving his dick a nickname and calling him Richard. And then maybe when you guys are in public saying, hey, I want to see Richard, thinking people you guys are talking about your friend, but in reality, they're talking about your dick. Stuff like that, you know? But let's keep watching. He's good at the guitar. 
He's probably been complimented on that an awful lot. So when he goes and plays, everyone comes up to him and says, oh my God, you're so good, you're amazing at that. It loses its meaning after a while. So now when you compliment the guy on that thing, you're just like everybody else. But if you can compliment the... Tr People, he's act it sounds like he's talking about you complimenting celebrities. Motherfuckers are not that famous to be getting compliments all the time. He's talking about himself. He's talking about himself right now. He, literally, he's talking about himself. How do you compliment him? Oh my God, Matthew, you're such handsome. He's saying, hey, don't compliment me. Compliment me on my soccer skills. Compliment me on my... Because he clearly plays soccer, right? So if you compliment him on his soccer skills, he will like that. He's tired of all those... Invite all of his compliments of him being a heavenly. Come on, people. He's talking about himself right now, right? <sighs> he has a good heart. I know he does. Trait that made him good at the guitar in the first place, he will be much more sentimental about that. So if it's just the discipline to keep playing every single day, even when it was hard to get to that point, that's something he's more likely to have meaning for than just being good at the guitar. The third way to compliment a guy that makes him fall for you, and I cannot overstate the importance of this, play to his masculinity. Show him how much of a man you really think he is. If a guy feels like a guy around you, he'll want to be around you more. Now there is one amazing line. He's right, ladies. He's right. 100% right. Hey, Matthew. I, I, hey, man, I thought he was going to say some bullshit. I swear to God, I thought he was going to say, I thought he was going to say, suck his dick, or... I thought he was going to say, um, um, fucking pray for him or some shit like that, but he's right about that. You know, he's 100. You got to make a man feel masculine. You know what I'm saying? That's a good advice. Good shit, Matthew. I like that. I'm putting, my, I'm putting this on. You can use to do this. And if you like this line, you're going to love what Just I give you in a few seconds. You say to a man, I feel so safe whenever I'm around you. Just saying that to a guy makes him feel like Superman. But more specifically, it makes him feel like Superman with you. Not everyone makes him feel that way. So if he feels that power... <sighs> no water? No water. Let me just rewind that. That to a guy, a man, I feel so safe whenever I'm around you. Just saying... Some guys are some. Some guys are such a such little pussies that you won't even believe that you're saying that. Look, man, the way that you make a guy feel like a man is one through pleasing him sexually. All right, making him feel like a king in bed. That's the first one. All right, that's the first one. And it's, and and it's not that I, it's not that you guys don't say no to guys, but if you if you if you do what he wants in bed, if you please him in bed. You know, and you and you keep his nut empty. He's gonna feel like a man. I can promise you. I can promise you. If you if you suck his dick real good, right? If you suck his dick real good, and 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 you enjoy it, and you and you showing him that you, you enjoy it, every man is gonna feel like a king. I can promise. But then back away though. All right. Actually, no, no. What I'm saying though, if, you, if you're in a relationship with a guy, giving him sexual pleasure is what makes him feel like a man. I'm not even kidding with you. I'm not even kidding with you. Another thing is dressing sexy. In public, dressing sexy, looking sexy, and, and working on your, and, and, uh, and, hey man, going in the gym, hey man, going in the gym, and looking nice makes him feel like a man. The more feminine you look, the more manly he feels. But if you're complaining a lot, if you're, if you're always trying to control him, and you're always trying to get the control of the relationship, then he's not going to feel like a man. He should leave you if you try to do that, and then you feel it, and then he'll feel like a man. But the point is that sometimes you women are stuck with guys that are absolute bitches, and there's no way that you feel like, that he'll feel like a man because he's just too much of his feminine, and then and you cannot fix that. You're trying to fix a dude. You can't fix a feminine dude. You can't fix that. You gotta find somebody else. It's hard. I get it. I think I think that's to me that's the biggest problem that women have, and it's a, and it's an issue that I don't know how to solve. How do you find that alpha male guy? How do you find guys that are alpha and yet and yet you know like and yet a little lovely like it's it's a balance that i'm gonna try to find so i can help you guys because i think that's very difficult to find you know but man like like let's keep watching man this is fun Being that to a guy makes him feel like superman but more specifically it makes him feel like Superman. look man the guy should feel like motherfucking superman if, if, if you're dating a loser he's not gonna don't date a loser it's just that simple man it's just that simple 
Don't don't date a dude who who from the start doesn't feel like a man. You This is not a project, man. This is why my advice is to filter the guys that are not good for you, not try to fix them. Alright, whatever. Keep bothering. With you. Not everyone makes him feel that way. So if he feels that powerful with you, he's gonna be drawn to you. So if you Or he might start taking advantage of you, right? Don't forget <clears throat> Don't forget that, Matthew. Don't forget that part. That if he starts feeling like a man, there are two two ways for people to react. He either treats you good or he starts to take advantage of you. Oh my god. Because sometimes when you treat him like, like a man, you incidentally start to develop feelings for him. And then you're not willing to walk away. You see? Always put yourself first. Like these, I have a special surprise for you. I have five more compliments that get any man to chase you. I don't care if you've known more for five minutes or five years. <laughs> to get these compliments, go to saythistohim.com. There I literally have a free guide. We're, I'm gonna find, gonna find these compliments. We're gonna find these compliments right now. We're finding these compliments. We're finding these compliments, these compliments in person and we find and we're gonna read these compliments. Let's find out what this compliment are. Because I need to see what these compliments are. Let me see. We're gonna sign up. Uh, where did you hear this from? I read, heard it from TV. All right. Send them my email. We're gonna find out what these compliments are because I need to see this in person. Uh, yeah, we enter my email. And I'm gonna put my name too. I'm like, yo, bro, I, I got this from you. All right, so we'll, we'll find out. We instantly download your free compliments. Let's find out what these are. Let's find out what these compliments are because I need to see what this is, man. All right. All right. So Matthew says, all right, let me put it up here so we, we can read it. Ever wonder what makes some women have men eating out the palms of their hands? Oh. <laughs> Matthew, you definitely have a choice of words, Matthew. Um, he says, the first, why, do you, why do guys get so seduced by compliments? Motherfucker, we don't get seduced by compliments. We get turned off by compliments. The truth is, everyone loves being complimented. Right, but then everyone, uh, everyone keeps taking for granted those who continually compliment us. The ones who I pay attention to most aren't the people who always compliment me, are people who criticize me the most. But let's read the compliments. One, you're such a guy. Who to use it on? Any guy, anywhere. Oh, yeah. Let me see how much battery we have. Anytime, anywhere. This sounds odd at first. Why does telling a guy he's such a guy count as a compliment? Isn't it just a fact? Yeah, whatever. Here's the thing. A guy loves the idea of being associated with being... Oh, my God. God, this is not good, man. This is not good. That's not even a compliment. You're such a guy? Let me tell you something, man. A better compliment is... I love your... I love that dick of yours. That's a better compliment. That is a better compliment. Or, or, or I love the fact that you're so masculine and, and yet a little feminine. That's a compliment. You could say that shit. You could say, like, oh, my God, you're so sensitive. Or, and what, okay, I... Just don't compliment people. That's what I'll tell you. Don't compliment people, man. The next one. I feel safe around you. The next one. I feel bad for the other one who here because I got you. Matthew, mi hermano, coño, pero. I feel bad for the other women because I got you? Yo, man, thank you for validating me, man. Thanks. You know what? I should send this. Thanks for validating me. Thank you for validating me. Thank you for validating me. You just learned that in a book. The next one. That jacket is too sexy on you. Take it off. Yo, I can't, man. I just can't. I, I can't. That jacket looks sexy on you. Take it off. You. I got neighbors, man, but this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. Who to use it on? That guy that you have sexual chemistry on. Okay. All right. Okay. If you have sexual chemistry with him, I agree. Sorry, Matthew. I don't mean to slander you. All right. I mean, I just don't, I just don't recommend these compliments, man. I feel bad for the women who are here because I got you. Okay. He's saying that to sell that to the guys that you love. Okay. I don't want, I don't want to act like, I don't want to misquote him. All right. He, he, he definitely gives context. I'm, I'm, I'm trolling right now a little bit. Next one. I love it when you do act. Okay. Um, one of the best things you could do to compliment is to link it to a specific behavior. That's true. I agree with that. That one's good. I love it when you do blank, blank. That's actually pretty good. I agree with him. I think that's actually a very good compliment. In fact, 
something that I may tell people to do. That's very good. But the other ones, man, I just don't recommend compliments, man. You, you gain nothing from complimenting, and he gains more than you do, man. It's an outdated thing. It's outdated. It's it's more. That's more for kings and you being the, the the fucking subordinate. It's not a good idea, man. Do I recommend Matthew Hesse? I mean, yo, man, like he's good, but I mean, I, I like his self help videos about self love. I really like it, but when it comes to these strategies, man, like it just feels like they don't want to talk about manipulation. It just feels like it. It just feels like they don't want to be. They don't want to be labeled as that coach that talks about manipulation because that's this is what this is, man. This is a, a game, a psychological game of attraction, like I have in my course, which you can purchase on the link below. It's a psychological game of attraction. And people just want to deny that. Come on, people, purchase my course, Dark Game. Or, or my course, The Psychological Game of Attraction. I'm straightforward, man. I, I tell it how it is. This is not a game. If people tell you it's a game, then they're just not being honest with themselves, you know? Man, it was just fun, people. This was so fun. You don't understand. Um, a part of me is trolling, but it's just, it's fun. It's hilarious to me, man. It's truly hilarious. People, this is Alex. Have a great day. And tell me who you guys want me to um, do. And subscribe to my channel. Bye-bye.